Hello and welcome to part four of Fabledom for my my shot at Fabledom. My my go. Hope everybody's all right. Sorry about me moaning. I don't moan a lot, you know that. I don't moan all the time. They want us to make some planks and bricks. I'm pretty sure we can do that for five honour. So where were we? No, we still haven't progressed. I'm not allowing it. Not yet. We've still got things to do. But as I said, you know, it's a bit more relaxed. This is my way of, my take on it. Because you will see, we will make mistakes. You know, we're, we'll, we'll open something before we're ready. And then it's a mad dash. But I should have a hero by now. I should have the hero. Because he he helps he helps with the villagers, you know, with you know, keeping them happy sort of thing. But at the moment we're fine. Don't need people coming in up and upsetting the apple cart, do we? Place is running smooth smooth. Everybody's employed. Every job has got somebody working at it. Supplies we're going up, although stone is being used because obviously we're making bricks. We've got lots of objectives put in front of us. They're going, do this! They're going, nope. <laughs> Make these condominium minimums. No, not yet. If we can pay peasants. Why pamper to commoners? Yeah, they pay more taxes, but as you can see, money isn't money isn't exactly a problem at the moment, is it? Not really. Yes, we could be expanding even more. We will be we will be doing a bit more expanding. Just want to look at a few things, don't we? Three hundred and fifty odd food, but there is seventy-two people now, so we have to keep an eye on that. Things are growing; they get, everybody's getting better. I think you know it feels like they get better at things, doesn't it? Like they're producing more flour now, getting in the rhythm. I think they need a loo up here, don't they? Public loo. No, they haven't got one up at the work, you know, give them a, a port -a -loo. There you go. Should we put a tree by it? Can't block entrance. Aha! Oh, that's one of the entrances to the... Okay, let's make it a road then. At least they've got a port -a -loo now. So I wonder if it matters, you know, I know it's for making something look good, but does it matter now that you haven't got to go all the way home? But would they bother going home? Only, you know, it's only if they've got their own loo at home. And so, you know, it doesn't take in, it doesn't take all that into consideration, I'm pretty sure. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we going to do? What do we need? We don't need anything, do we? self-sufficient everybody's making we've got lots of lots of everything now or we we've got a considerable considerable amount of everything it is now fall so that was a quite a quite a good summer look at all that wheat that'll soon go down though Let's 
Still got to see if we can sustain the population with the two vegetable farms and the two wheat farms. Looks like they could even sustain another baker. So if they, they want a, a street theatre, okay, I don't mind that, I don't mind doing that, that's a good idea. It's where do we need it, or where should we put it for the maximum, from the maximum maximums. Now there's a good place, it would work there, not the greatest though, but we have got this plot next to the bakery over this side. And I think that'd be a really good place. We could move it up one, and that gets all those houses as well at the back. Nearly all of them anyway. Good place. And this is like a little nicety place, isn't it? We can build the road up, road there like that. Um, no, no, no. Hang on. If you're going to the theatre... You know, you've got to know where the loos are, haven't you? And a nice big tree, maybe. Tree. Nice. And... Yeah. Gotta be. Gotta be. There you go. What more do you need? So I think that's like, uh, as the road, the road is double-sized, a bit more of a plaza there now, isn't it, growing? Built. Just planks and bricks. See, our new things don't just want logs and stone anymore. They want dressed stone and dressed wood. Shouldn't take them long though. Five logs for the loo. <laughs> well, that works. Five logs for the loo, baby. Uh huh. Don't need anybody else yet. Not yet. Got that done. 35, no but nobility. See, we're getting there. See, there's no point going talking to these princesses and having nothing going on, is there? What's the point? Isabella Moore. I think you said you wanted to be a an actor. Well, there you go. <laughs> We know we now have a street theatre up and running. So that's quite a nice little area. <laughs> They've got a cardboard cut out people. So the point is because there's nobody unemployed, there's nobody to go and watch her. Because everybody's busy. So that's the trouble. People aren't on shifts or anything, they're just continuously working, aren't they? Into the night, doesn't matter what it is. So sadly, Isabella has to perform to cardboard cutouts. But it still looks nice. Money's just piling in. Got no problem with that. It's only year four. You know, I think we're fine. We're not grabbing too much land. We're not grabbing too much. We're not expanding too much. 
into territories where it starts going oi. So I think, you know, it's... look at all that wheat. We could do another, probably do with another mill. Getting a stock together. Festival. Yes, everybody's happy. Up to 87. For 30 days. How happy they are. Bless them. Little dum-dums. Oi. Can't say that to my leech lids. They're good people, these are. Hard working. They've built all this. They've built this. They've done all this. They're good people. Although it still looks drab. <laughs> and now here comes the winter. But I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of everything. get through the winter. Once I feel I'm ready to contact the rest of the planet, I will. Well, we're ready now, but I'm not ready as far as I'm concerned. I'm not extreme yet. Planks and bricks are all coming in. Let's get all that stock together. Loads of wood, lots of stone, lots of coal. That's going to go down though, isn't it? It's, we know that. As soon as the end of the week, everybody is cosy. Excellent. No, not yet. Because obviously town... You know, is 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 it town? Next one? Because I think we're a small town at the moment, aren't we? So we'll just let that money roll in. I'm not rushing. There's things all happening around us. We're just getting on with it. This flute dude. We need obviously the hero to speak to him. You go away. Bugger off. Look him row. in case there's plenty of room but you never know there's even more plenty of room now but I think our granaries are probably getting you know there's quite a bit in the granaries or well, at least two at least two granaries are full up
So now there is a road across. Uh, offer grain for veg. Look at all that. Wow. No, we don't need it. We're fine. Okay, here we go. Expansion time. Around the well. Good. Um, do we leave that space behind the inn? I think we do. I think we do. Because we need it for another bakery, do we? I think we do. Two bakeries. Because <laughs> we've got plenty of plenty of, gr of uh, grain, plenty of flour, so the bakeries won't have to stop and only go and get one or two. Let's get some new people in. So that's three more houses. Nice. And a bakery. Wow. Okay, room for 75, so the next people that come in, we can grab them. You know, the millers are taking the grain. And a double road as well. Then we could build on the other side of that. Because that side will probably be a mix. Although the, the, the commoners don't want to live next to the peasants. <laughs> Sounds about right, did it? Let's try it. What's this? Accept all newcomers for 90 days. No. No, I'm not doing that one. Two new people. Just in time for spring. One of those is ready. So we've got a stockpile. There you go. I think we've got another stockpile there that has got nobody in it, but it's not essential this moment. We will sort it out. It's just the baker going up. Brand new baker. Wow. Next people that come in will be... Unless we grab somebody from somewhere else. That is three bakers. What was I saying? <laughs> uh, baker Street, I think. Houses are going up really nice and quickly. Everything is very efficient. So we've got all this to clear over here. Shame we didn't leave that a double down the other down that middle that side there. Should have made that a double. But then again, it's fine. Okay, a couple more days. So 90 is town. Food's all gone all the way down to 250. Of course I'll get you bread. 15 bread in 30 days? I think so. I think that's an easy one. Oh yes. One already. Looking super bakeries. Here we go.
Got one for the new bakery, and this is Beatrice Gonzalez. Gonzalez, Beatrice got yes, Beatrice. Nice, excellent. Three bakers on the go. Mm -hmm. Let's see if see what you know about the flour situation because we look at the wheat has gone all the way down to 180. So we've got two meals, you know, coping, coping with two fields, and now three will the two meals cope with three bakers? It might even we could might even be able to make make another one. Might even be four bakers. if we need to upgrade that it's the the, the veg vegetables seem to be fine don't they absolutely fine for this size so 90 we know that two fields will run should run 90 peasants it should do shouldn't it coals drop below 100 again we made that bread in record time <laughs> absolutely 20 loaves oh yes Look at the grain gone down though, but that's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. At least we've still got storage. Not down, not down to nothing, are we? Everybody's filling up their their own larders. Two new people. We've got two as well. Where are they going? Everything's fine, fine, fine. Stockpile, two people. Tony and Nathan. Off you go, lads. And they live right next to it. With brand new houses, isn't it? They're overjoyed. <laughs> I can walk to work. Straight to it. So they're, you know, they're reasonable, but they're just not very. They've just got the amenities, haven't they? Look at that play. Fifty-one. Wow. Three bakeries, plus fifteen. So they're happy. They're happy chappies. They are. It's looking good. Going good. Two more people. For 120 gold, I think we can spare that, I think. What do you think? Might as well. House on the corner. Right. Oh, and it's still in a good place. Perfect. <laughs> hmm. Get this house built. So I'll give it 84. 
Now, don't notice that that house has, hasn't got water, all right? Don't notice that at all. And don't notice it for quite a while. Because I forget all about that. I go off and do other stuff. Doesn't matter. <laughs> They'll be fine. Not as if they're going to, you know, not get any water, but they're, they're not happy that they haven't got water yet. But I don't see it for a long time. So don't panic. And don't look at it. You unsee it. Unsee it. Let's get some fishing going. Just to distract you from my mistake. The best thing about fish is the smell, especially in the summer. It kind of distracts from my feet. I, I have a moist foot problem. Thanks very much, Jives. Let's use this at the back here so we don't waste so we don't waste space just for roads. Okay. Uh, no, it can come right in the, in the front of the house here. There you go. So we have room. So we obviously we don't want to build any more houses this way. Because of the industrial zone. You can build them. I mean, it just irritates them, doesn't it? It just makes them, brings down the general happiness if you do. You know, they're on 130% at the moment. They're on 80. Without any buffs. We've got no buffs running now, have we? Three bakeries. They're over the moon. Do you want to get these fish, fish on the go, though? Another food source. All else. Ten planks and twenty bricks. So it takes a long time to build those bricks. A long time. See, especially when we've only got one mason. Let's get some more fish. See, we can see where that covers, but it doesn't matter if it overlaps. Because they go out, they go out quite a way. Make sure that you can get the road to it, that's the thing. That's good enough, I think. I know it overlaps, but it's not a problem. We should have all that lake. Now the road. Uh, um, there is bridge. There is. There are bridges. Let's see if it works. I think it's too wide for a bridge, really. Even if we use the long. Yeah, it's too long. Must be placed on land. So. Ah. I, uh, I didn't test to see if I if it if I could make it longer there, but I will do next time. Let's make this as. Waste, wasteless as possible. It needs to come to there. Right. Excellent. So that's that whole coast area, which is normally useless apart from, you know, some beach beach uh, property. So we've got four people. But we are going to need six for the fishing. Let's get prepared. So there's plenty. Yeah, I get two. Yeah, I get two done. 
bit of road around there. Obviously, we'll be buying that land soon, but at least there's a road around it. <coughs> Excuse me. Five granaries at 450 each. Mm-hmm. All within easy reach. Perfect. I ain't finished yet. <laughs> I was started. Who needs all? Who needs everything else? <laughs> Three. Thomas, Agnes, Lopez, and Thomas. Our three, our first fishermen. Off they go. Yes. Da -da -da. This is Agnes. Agnes. Can we follow you? She's going off right after the bank, other side of the bank there. Look. She's happy. Oh. <laughs> well done, Agnes. And off they go, fishing. There's plenty of fish here, look, plenty of fish. We shall have all that. Nice. So fishing is up and running, we've got vegetables, we've got bread, and it's coming in as well. Obviously need three more for the next fishing up. over a hundred planks, 122 planks. It's the stonemason. Definitely need another stonemason. Stone is starting to build up. It's growing really well. Everything's, it's, you know, bit by bit. Bit by bit. See you next time.